Hello friends, how's everyone today? So I'm coming live to you from a little bit of snowy Montana. So we're gonna stream and be doing this all week long, especially in these great sweaters. I've got a sweater bug about me. The weather is perfect because we're in the down in the low 20s here in the Northern Tundra. And I just wanted to introduce a brand new sweater uh, that we got in. I brought this uh, from uh, the store. It just arrived this last week in Iowa as I traveled back to Montana. And this is the great new Pendleton sweater. So cool thing about it is it's actually a men's sweater. And I love the men's sweaters and the men's apparel for women in so many ways, as well as for the guys. The guys actually look very swag and cool in them. But I love them for women because they cover the hip line. They're long and they give you that long, a um, little bit more linear look, whether you're wearing it open or closed. And this particular sweater, you can see it's oversized and it's exactly how I would wear it. Um, also with menswear, if, uh, you know, with menswear, it's cut a little bit bigger through the shoulders. So if anyone has a, an uh, issue with being larger through the bust line. I think a menswear piece is a natural fit for that particular way to find and enhance what you have, okay, and work with all of your elements. Um, and so I, I love the menswear stuff for, you know, countless reasons. We buy menswear for women. We also have an advantage when, especially when we're on the road and in our store back in Cedar Falls, that it's a nice crossover because uh, we have a lot of men that come through not only um, at our shows when we're at the rodeo and the livestock shows, but of course in the Waterloo uh, downtown uh, store as well. So this will look as good as on Gary, probably better on Gary, right, than it does on me. So one of the things, um, this is classic Pendleton. I'm going to show it to you uh, sometime in the next week in a blue tone as well, a dark navy. Uh, it's called the Westerly. Uh, so it's kind of a classic uh, piece that Pendleton continues to churn out, uh, sometimes in, in different colors. But right now we're focused on this color and then the dark navy one. Um, but one thing I want to say is that a misconception and also a real conception is that we're often coined as a Western store. And we certainly can Western it up because <laughs> we do head to National Finals Rodeo, San Antonio Rodeo, various um, livestock and rodeo oriented events. No particular reason why we went that direction, except that I kind of love that vibe and that group of people and the action that goes on at those kinds of events. But the reality is this is really contemporary clothing as well. Um, and it can go anywhere. You can be in downtown Manhattan or you can be in Jackson Hole, Wyoming in this particular sweater uh, or for that matter Scottsdale, Arizona in the evenings and it's wool because it's classically Pendleton. Not all Pendleton things. We have some great cottons in, in Pendleton right now, but this one is wool. I was out and about today. It's 20 degrees. I had this on. I did have a pair of little gloves and mittens on which I probably need right now because my fingers are cold, but um, it's enough. And I've teamed it up with a great silk scarf um, in our Wild Rags uh, collection. And actually we're out of this right now, but it's, you can see it's in the beautiful, all the uh, animal print. And this is a larger square one. Michelle's ordering it right now, so we'll have it back in. Great silk, silk scarf. I love scarves to kind of, for me, it uh, keeps me warm because I get cold very easily. So I like to put it around my neck, wrap it around, tie it up, just tuck it in. Sometimes it's just for effect because it's just a really pretty accent. And it can be danced with your jewelry or as a accessory item itself. Um, so I think scarves are a really fun, important piece. And we, we have a nice selection in the store. We're going to be building upon that um, probably in the days and weeks to come because we kind of are on that bent right now. But um, this will be available. I've also teamed it up uh, with uh, one of our pants that's on our clearance sale right now. It's our testimony line. It's a French cotton terry and spandex. So this actually is like a straight-legged pant. Um, and it looks great with um, a shoe, a sandal, um, super comfortable. It's a pocket pant, it's got a pocket in the back. Um, but I tucked it into a boot uh, for this particular shoot just to show you the versatility of this kind of pant. This is a pant you put it on, you, you wanna wear it for days to come um, in different colors because it is so comfortable. And those of you that have collected any pieces from the testimony line know that it's French cotton terry um, and spandex. So it's um, not only comfortable, but it's washable. Um, and they're just in great colors, really great colors. And I don't know, I, you have to go to the website and take a look and look up testimony and then look up pants. There's some hyperlinks right now on all of our sales stuff. So if you go to our website on the first page, Cindy has created a great hyperlink to all the stuff that's at 40% off. Great, great sale, really great sale, especially in the, in the testimony collection. We've all got, also got some Pendleton and some Double D Ranch wear that's on that clearance um, as well. And I think we have 20% off 
cowhides, 20% off t-shirts, and 20% off boots. Um, this sweater is not. This sweater is brand new, so this is at full retail. But even at that, they're not a bad price, so check them out. I'm sure this one's on the website as well under the full price stuff. But did want to let you know that um, these pants and many, many other pieces of that collection are on there, and I'll be showing you different jackets and things in the next week or so, um, sometimes a couple times a day. I finally got lighting, and I've got a microphone. You're not going to hear that yet, but I'll get the microphone figured out tonight. And I have a drone. Can you imagine me droning here? I'll probably crash it into the pine trees, but I'm going to try it. So back to the whole idea that um, we're more than just a Western um, influence store. And I've always um, really kind of left Western out of the quotient. I call it Mountain West um, because for me, it's ski country and it's the uh, the peacefulness and the very natural kind of um, appeal in terms of dressing and lifestyle that my family and I have found in the mountains. And of course now we kind of live in the mountains, but um, as we've traveled over the years and done our vacationing in ski country, that's the kind of um, place where we feel, I would say most um, at ease, okay? Stress-free, what do you can add whatever adage to it that you want. But um, I would call it, call it Mountain West Living lifestyle so there is something for everyone um, if you uh, feel that we're totally Western and that's what you want we can amp it up and I'll show you so I did a little bit of a, a French effect here <laughs> no we don't carry this hat I've had this hat for 20 years and I love this hat actually I've had it for about 25 years um, from a very uh, wonderful French uh, woman that uh, came into our lives about 20 uh, 24 years ago and um, she introduced me to the whole beret feel, how to uh, how to wear it, and there's probably a better name for it than the beret, that's probably not it, but at any rate, it has a, a bit of a French influence. And you can see, I did fringed boots, which can go either more of a Mountain West feel, or they can go a very contemporary feel. We have carried this boot no longer. It was two years back. I continue to love and live in this boot. Um, and our boots, our boots are 20% off right now. So each of the things that, um, you're gonna see have some relevance uh, back to the store. The beautiful earrings that I have are some gorgeous earrings that we have. And these are for sale, if you'd like them. They're sterling silver. Um, they are Navajo inspired. I can't um, exactly designate. I believe they actually are Navajo made, but I'd have to look on the uh, print and make sure I know where, or the mark rather, know where they came from. But certainly Navajo and Native American inspired. And now I'm gonna show you how, in fact, we can take it to a Western um, appeal with the great Western hat and take it a little more Mountain West cowgirl or cowboy or however you want to say it. So there's the look and just see how that, the sweater itself transitioned. And that happens um, with just a little tweak of accessories. And I think by long and far, and I watch women walk in and out of our stores every day, our store on the road in our store in Cedar Falls. And just with a little bit of accessory, how we can change their imaging and change the look of what they're wearing and have it be a wow instead of a whoa. Whoa is fine, there's nothing wrong with whoa. It's like having a birthday cake with no candles and maybe no frosting, but it's still good, right? It still tastes good. Um, but when you put on the frosting and you put on the candles and when you light the candles and you put some little designation extra, it just all of a sudden goes to wow and it's a great it's a great photo op. <laughs> it's a great experience. It's a great feel. It starts to add to the story that are behind things. And I think that's, to me, in my decades, and it's a lot of decades, of um, being in the, uh, the industry, the fashion industry, and certainly dressing people, that's part of the fun of it. And that's what clothes and items that you decide to acquire into your working wardrobe or your fun wardrobe or your dress up or your dress down or your game day wardrobe what it should do it should have that little bit of extra pop that when you look in the mirror goes thumbs up or wow and that's your armor that you wear out into that day or that evening or that event and everybody needs a little armor these days <laughs> there's a lot of the onslaught hitting you on an ongoing way and i talk about this a lot um if you have confidence in what your imaging is um, the things that hit you within a day are not nearly as brutal in the assault and, and what it feels like because you've got that, you know, I look good and I can take on this day kind of a, of a already um, persona first thing in the morning. So with that, a little happy dance, a little snow dance. I kind of love the snow. I'm back in, uh, 
back in the mountain area. <laughs> and uh, it it's, feels good. It does feel good. So happy dance to all those in the south. You might want to come visit the north because snow days are great days, especially when you have the beautiful uh, Pendleton sweater in a cardigan that you can hang out by a fireplace in doing a walk, going to run errands or a photo shoot. All right, friends, we'll see you later. Maybe another outfit yet today. We'll see. I got to get that drone going. I know that. Take care. Peace and light.